um, uh, as for seeing this logo, basically, we are going to use the helix tools at first. Uh, we call it circle. So, we'll start like this. Uh, first circle. Just has to draw the outer side of the logo. Um, um, you can also work with your sketch, but um, um, I lost the. Um, I, I'm not using the sketch actually. So make sure you transparent whatever you want to do with the uniform tools, and go back to the early tools again and sketch it out. This has to get the exact place you are supposed to place the ellipse to I mean the circle rather uh, Just make sure you are getting the edges together with the sketch you have and they go back again to draw another one and you draw the third one you draw the fourth one Um, basically, yeah, I'm not following the um the um logo I sketched before. I just have to replace these to beautify it more. You know, I like to use again to sketch the other side, just because we are getting we are in need of anything around at the moment, so we have to use the image that first. So we duplicate it on the other side. We are done with the ellipses. We work now with the um, two point line tools. Yeah, it's a kick. It's the line before. And we also draw a line to the other side. And the reason why we are using a line at this place is just to demarcate where the circle is going to stop. And to, um, to make it easier while we are cutting it out. So after this, just, you make sure you copied out everything you sketched at first. I, I think that's all. I don't know. That's it. You're working with this, you should make sure your two line um your two lines to be equal together with the circle you draw. So I then straight line just to make the edges on and the other side. Duplicate it again. See, I'm trying to allow the edges to be together and in case of cutting, it's not the clashes to each other. So after that, you highlight everything you sketched. I mean, all the circle, the lines, everything, just highlight it together. 
and we work with your visual um segments cuts to Zara. So easy to cut out the empty space then cut things. And mind you, before you start cutting, once you copy the routine, make sure and once you highlight all the um these um circle, the lines, everything, make sure you copy it. Make sure and be careful while cutting it so you just don't do any mistake. You have to be careful with this side. I think zooming it to be better than doing it from outside. So I have to zoom it in. No, I need the edges in here, so I zoom it in to get what I need. Yeah, just like I said the other time, the line segment is useful now. Cut it out. to get the logo out now and we delete the other one we sketched this form so you increase the um airline the increment of airline will surely give us similar to what we need or what we were actually working with but you see the edges of what we cut out they're not joined together and not smooth the way we want it. The downside, the upper side, and everything. So you increase the airline again to check, still the same. And we decrease it back. We decrease it rather. So yeah. Um we walk around with the outline pen and still on that same distance. Then we there is a round feel of it and the square feel of it so we work with the round feel at the outline pen shortcut for that is f12 so i'm actually checking it so you can see the process of how i check the one that will make it looks attractive a bit so and i guess we have to decrease it back to make it simple now and I give it a color okay. then you paste what you sketch the other time that i asked you to copy paste it back on it to check maybe you are correct or not and boom we are done So I think with these and the little I record, don't mind my voice and my mic or anything. I am making sense of it. Thank you.